Hi, this is Charity and welcome to the Amanda Play Sims based monthly challenges. Now I know a lot of you are probably wanting an episode of Tidy Town and I am working on it, but unfortunately I am a little behind due to some illnesses in the family, so I will have to do a quick episode for Friday this time. Remember when we had the monthly challenges where we were completing the scenarios and one of them was the extraterrestrial researcher and we brought back aliens. Well, Eddie was the focus of that one. And then he had a sister named Lila. And Lila had a partner named Alice. So Lila and Alice were partners and they had a science baby together named Claire. Well, Lila and Alice decided to go to Strangerville in order to visit family. And Claire did not want to go because she wanted to stay at home with her friends and continue going to school and see all of her friends at school. So Claire and Lila went by themselves. And while they were there, they were killed by the mother plant. And Claire was devastated. So Claire went to the funerals and then she resolved that she was going to find out the mystery of Strangerville and figure out what happened to her parents and get revenge on whatever caused her parents to die. So basically the mother plant sensed this new threat and knew that Claire was going to eventually be the one to solve the Strangerville mystery. And so the mother plant warped space time and split off eight versions of Claire. So we have eight versions of Claire that are zombies that are living in this house. And this is also part of the 100 Days of Creativity Challenge. And I will link the website for that challenge below as well. So I tried to combine these so that it was easier for me to do. So this is the graveyard we built. It's a zombie graveyard. And we have the graves here of Lila and Alice and we also moved Nyssa and Ignacio here just because I wanted to have some real tombstones instead of some fake ones but we have a couple fake ones too and I really like doing this graveyard this graveyard is very cute I think and you can place this as a room outside of any church building it's just a small one I didn't want to go overboard with it but it fits into my storyline so it has the vines from the mother and the two sprouts from the plants from the two that were infected and this house i really love this house it turned out so nice i'm not really that good of a builder because this took me forever to do it's because i am not good with roof lines and i kind of tried to step out of my comfort zone and not do a plain roof so this is an old abandoned house and we have rooms assigned for each of the clairs now this house is up on the gallery and you can download it if you want under my gallery ID charity codes. But this is basically the build with all the rooms for, for that. And I will try to show you in free cam mode. I'm not really good at this and these rooms are tiny. So it might be difficult to do it this way. I left the common areas as the abandoned look, you know, things are cobwebs everywhere and dirt and mold and <laughs> basically grime everywhere but the bedrooms themselves are not abandoned they're much more maintained so what I thought was a nice touch is I have this mail slot for this door and a bunch of redacted uh, case files kind of like mail that someone put through the hole so that no one is really living here when the Claire's came to take over. So that's why they were able to live in this abandoned house. And then we have the first bedroom, which is decorated in black and purple because, oh, that's a creepy baby because there's actually a baby there. Um, yeah, it looks really creepy in build mode when you're not in live mode, but um, there's actually a baby in that bassinet. So this is the room that was designed by Lila and Alice Martin when they were alive because Claire was a baby and they raised her. So it's modeled after their tastes because Claire is a newborn and doesn't have any tastes yet. 
So it has the black and the purple, which actually Alice also liked purple and Lila likes purple. So that was a happy coincidence. And then the decor was one, I think, from Alice. I think Alice is the one that likes Queen Anne decor. So that's how the uh, vampire stuff is in here. So we just got a changing table, a small chair, a waste basket, the bassinet, and that's pretty much it. Some decor. I did play test this, so I had to move some things around to get everything to work, but it does work. And then across the hall, we have the infant room. So this is where Claire's personality starts to take over in the rooms. And she was a sunny infant. So there's her crib and she has a whole bunch of yellow decorations because she's all about yellow. And there's the changing table, a little reading chair, and the bunny. So there's also some blocks on the floor. And if you notice at the bottom of the changing table, I put one stain in this room because Claire is a feeding tinkler. That's the only quirk that she unlocked while she was an infant. So I decided to put that into the build. Now, if we go through the kitchen and go through this door right here, we have the toddler room where the toddler Claire is independent and she's into rainbow. So toddler Claire has a big unicorn stuffed animal and a little unicorn bed with a colorful koala, a bookshelf, lots of decorations, a little TV because she likes sounds. And she also has a kid's radio and some blocks. All right, there's one more room downstairs, but that's actually for elder Claire. So I will cover that last. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. And it's just a small hallway. If you go through the first door on the right, this is the child's room. Now the child is gloomy because this is when her parents were killed. And I thought this picture was perfect because it kind of looks like Lila. And that could be Claire because it's a small girl and her mother. So the tragic clown is in here. We have a green dino, a green violin, because she's also artsy. And I thought it was a good idea to put the ceiling as like a skylight. And the water, as well as being blue, is also reminding me of tears. So that's also part of her being gloomy, and she likes blue. So there's these little stepping stones, and the carpet is supposed to be like the ocean. And she does her arts and crafts at this little table over here. And then she has the treasure chest with her toys and the dino. And I found some artwork that looks very, very sad. And that's her bed up there. She does have some photos from some good memories. So it's not all sad. And then we go down to the hall on the left. And this is the teenager's room, also very small. So the teenager is into vintage stuff and she likes to play the guitar. She also likes red, as you can tell. And I put a whole bunch of things that look like angry in her room. So she has the candelabra and the red roof and the red walls and the red carpet and some mixtures of other colors just to give it some balance. I put a lot of clutter in here because teenagers are messy and I had to actually get rid of some of the clutter on the floor so that it would work. But yes, this is also play tested and you got the nice view out here and the bed up top. So these rooms are still kind of small, but I thought that it would be easier to do a small room and not have to include very much, but I kind of regret it now. All right, so then we have the young adult. Young adult is when Claire starts feeling fearful and paranoid and trapped. And that's the theme for this room. So she has spider webs on the wall. Her color is purple. And she's also into gemology and crystals, just because to me that goes in hand with feeling fearful, is that you turn to supernatural solutions for your fears so she's going to be into gemology and not have a job 
and I have this Murphy bed here. The Murphy bed actually works. If you go in here to the gemology table, you can use it. And then if you stop using the gemology table and put the bed down, you can sleep in the bed. I think just on this side though, I don't think you can get over to the other side, but at least you can sleep on one side of the bed and then get up and put it back up. So this room is actually functional. And then we have down the hall on the right, this is the adult's room. So once she becomes an adult, she starts to get very ambitious. And of course her color is orange and her theme is industrial. And so she becomes very hardworking and she gets into the business career. So this is the only Sim that has a job in this household. And she starts to feel very burnt out. So that's when I came up with the orange association for this Sim. So this version of Claire is extremely burnt out and trying to work very, very hard. All right, and then we have the last Sim, which is the Elder. Okay, the Elder's room is the only room that matches the rest of the house, really. And that's because the Elder is associated with gray and black and shabby decor. And she's also bored and in despair. So this is Claire at the end of her life when she hasn't solved the mystery of Strangerville. So she's into knitting. And so I have a knitting basket there, but she only does that as a hobby. What she really wants to do is start a family of vampires. And that is her aspiration. So that's why she has the coffin in here. She's not actually a vampire yet, but that is how her story is set up. And this room is kind of cool. I'm not sure if the coffin actually works because I don't think that I actually play tested that, but it looks like it should work. There's enough room on the floor. She's also drinking a little bit. So yeah, there's a mixology globe over there. Now there is one more room in this house, which is the attic. In the attic, you can actually climb up here maybe uh, maybe not because it's just a roof it doesn't have walls so I don't know if a sim could actually climb up here but it's meant for decoration anyway it has a bunch of paper the old mattress leaning against the wall and a bunch of boxes and stuff scattered so this was mainly for decoration I don't intend to use this as a place for sims to actually reach and I don't think that they can it's kind of messed up too because of the ceiling. The color is off. It's because roofs are not colored underneath unless you have a ceiling. So yeah, that's the outside again. And then we'll go and meet the Sims. So here are the Sims in the Claire Landry household. And keep in mind that these Sims were created as clones of each other, but I did allow myself to add different traits. So they did not keep the same trait throughout their lives. They're supposed to be split versions. So these are like alternate realities where different things happened. But in each case, she never found out what happened to her parents. So this is the sunny infant. And she likes the color yellow, even though you can't give color assignments to infants. I decided that I would do that. And here's her formal wear, her sleepwear, her party wear, her hot weather look, and her cold weather look. And then we have the independent toddler. She really doesn't have a favorite color because she likes rainbows and unicorns. So there's her everyday, formal, nighttime, party look, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. All right, now we get to get a little bit more personality because we can assign likes and dislikes. This version of Claire likes pessimistic sims, blues music, photography, violin, blue, idealist sims, and complaints. She dislikes high energy sims, jokes, comedy, yellow, funny sims, strange tunes, silly behavior, optimistic sims, and potty humor. 
That's her everyday look. And then she has her formal wear, which is the only outfit that isn't blue because this is the age where she had to attend her parents' funeral. So I thought it was appropriate to assign her an all black outfit. And then this is her athletic wear, her sleepwear, her party wear, her swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Then when she becomes a teen, you can actually assign the infected trait to Sims. And I actually did for all of these Sims. And they all have facial scars to try and imitate being a zombie. So this version of Claire is actually where the zombies start. And she likes argumentative Sims, vintage decor, retro music, malicious interactions, metal music, rascals, dancing, guitar, rocker fashion, red, arguments, alternative music, mischief, complaints, high energy Sims, and egotistical Sims. She dislikes physical intimacy, affection, comedy, homebody sims, cooking, strange tunes, pink, and cute decor. She wants to live fast, and she's hot-headed and a party animal. So I also thought that it would be good to have her play the guitar, but I couldn't make her a music lover and a party animal. So I went with party animal. There's her everyday and her formal, active, and sleepwear and this is her party swimwear hot weather and cold weather and i just love her hair this hairstyle was so perfect for her and i also made it red so this is the only version of claire that dyes her hair then when she becomes a young adult, she's more into mystical things. So she actually has the crystal crafter aspiration. She's paranoid, squeamish, and socially awkward. So she likes gemology, romance enthusiasts, mid-century decor, boho fashion, gossip, idealist sins, purple, new age music, affection, and flirtation. She dislikes deep thoughts, argumentative sims, compliments, cooking, and strange tunes. This is her everyday outfit, and yes, I know she has a lot of jewelry, and that's on purpose. And this is her formal, her active, her sleepwear, mm -hmm. her party look, her swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So then this sim is the adult version. She's the one with the job. So she's starting to feel burnt out, but she is in the business career and that will actually come into play in one of my other series. Okay, the adult version of Claire wants to be fabulously wealthy. She's ambitious, self-absorbed, and she hates children, so no family. So she likes hardworking sims, compliments, electronic music, deep thoughts, orange, polished fashion, discussing interests, preppy fashion, and industrial decor. She dislikes malicious interactions, complaints, ambitionless sims, strange tunes, and dancing. And this is her everyday, formal, active, sleepwear, party look, swimwear, hot weather look, and cold weather look. The elder version of Claire wants a vampire family. She's erratic, evil, and creative. So I left the creative bit for her knitting, but I didn't want to give her the lady of the knits aspiration. She likes gray, black, malicious interactions, cross stitch, shabby decor, spooky music, mixology, and knitting. She dislikes affection, comedy, strange tunes, and cute decor. This is her everyday, her formal, her active wear, her sleepwear, her party look, and her swimwear, then the hot weather look, and the cold weather look. 
So I was actually really happy with how all these Sims turned out. And I just had a lot of fun making them. I'm not usually a Kaz person. But this was so different and so specific that I actually enjoyed doing it. So these Sims will probably turn up in other Let's Plays. I'm going to have them in the world where I'm doing the monthly challenges and also where I'm doing the APS Legacy Challenge. So heads up, we might be seeing these Sims again. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.